Lesson 1.11, evaluate numerical expressions. So our essential question today is in order, in what order must operations be evaluated to solve a problem? So remember that a numerical expression is a mathematical phrase that uses only numbers and operation symbols. So parentheses five minus two parentheses times seven or 72 divided by nine plus 16 or parentheses 24 minus 15 parentheses plus 32. So to evaluate or find the value of a numerical expression with more than one operation, you must follow the rules called the order of operation. The order of operation tells you in what order you should evaluate the expression. If you don't do it in the order that the rules tell you to, you're going to get a very different answer. So it's really important that the first thing you have to do is perform anything that's inside a parenthesis. So there's a parenthesis, there's a parenthesis. The first thing you do is you take care of anything that is inside a parenthesis. Once you've taken care of the parenthesis, or even sometimes within a parenthesis, there might be multiple op op operations. So the next thing you look for is you look for multiplication and division. Okay, and it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to multiply first or have to divide first. It's just like reading from left to right. So you're going to go in this direction. Whatever starts first, you're going to go this way. So if it's dividing first or multiplying first, you're going to start here and you're going to do it just like you read a book. Once you've done all the multiplication and division, then you're going to look and you're going to do the adding and subtracting. Same thing. It doesn't matter if the adding comes first or the subtracting comes first. What's important is that you start on this side and you go this direction, just like you're reading from left to right. Okay, unlocking the problem. A cake recipe calls for four cups of flour, two cups of sugar. To triple the recipe, how many cups of flour and sugar are needed? Triple. When we think of triple, triple play, we think of what number? Good. We think of three. So, to evaluate the expression, you need to find three times four plus three times two because we have the recipe calls for four cups of flour, two cups of sugar. So, it's four cups of flour plus two cups of sugar, right? And that's going to be multiplied by three because we're going to triple the recipe. Okay, so Heather, what she did is first she did three times four plus three times two. Then she multiplied three times seven times two equals 42. But if we're following the order of operations, first you're gonna multiply three times four, which is 12. And then you're gonna multiply three times two, which is six. And then you're going to get 12 plus 6, which is 18. Very different answers. Okay? Because if she added these two first and she got 7, and then she multiplied the 3 times the 7 times the 2, she got 42. Very different answer. And we were following the order of operations because we did the multiplication first, and then we did the addition. And she did the addition first and then the multiplication. So very, very different answers. So on the bottom, when you're explaining, you can say, let me lift this up. You can say that why Heather's answer is not correct, she added before she multiplied. And we know that the order of operations wants us to multiply first. So 18 cups of flour and sugar are needed. Evaluate the expression with parentheses. To evaluate an expression with parentheses, you need to follow the order of operations. Perform the operations in the parentheses first. Mul then multiply from left to right, then add and subtract from left to right. So let's look at our example. Each batch of cupcakes Lena makes uses three cups of flour, one cup of milk, and two cups of sugar. Lena wants to make five batches of cupcakes. How many flour, cups of flour, milk, and sugar will she need in all? So they've written out the expression five times the three cups of flour, the one cup of milk, and the two cups of sugar. So if I'm doing things in the parentheses first, that means I'm going to have to add these up. Three plus one plus two is going to give me six. 
So now I get to multiply. 5 times 6 is 30. So Lena will use 30 cups of flour, milk, and sugar in all. Well, what if Lena makes four batches? How is this going to change my number? Well, over here she made five batches and I had a five. So instead of a five there, I'm going to put a four. And I'm going to say four times parentheses three plus one plus two because she hasn't changed her recipe. So three plus one is four plus two is six. And now I have four because I bring down my four times six. And I'm going to get 24 cups. Okay. Okay, try this. Rewrite the expression without with parentheses to equal the given value. So if we have 6 plus 12 times 8 minus 3, and the value is 141, we need to evaluate the expression without the parentheses. So if we're going to do this without the parentheses, then that means I'm going to do the six or 12 times 8 first, and 12 and 12 times 8, well, 8 times 2 is 16, 8 times 1 is 8, plus 1 is 9, so that's 96. And then I have 6 plus 96, so that's going to be 102, and then minus 3, that's going to be 99. Okay, so now if I'm going to place the parentheses so the expression equals 141, I'm going to end up needing to do it like this, 6 plus 12 is 18 and then 18 times 8 well I've got 18 times 8 that's 64 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 so that's 144 so that'll be 144 and then I'm gonna have this minus 3 and that's gonna equal the 141 so I'd need to put the parentheses on um, the 6 plus 12 in order to make the expression be 141 versus 99 so let's look at sample B. I have 5 plus 28 divided by 7 minus 4. The value that they got was 11. Okay, So we're going to have to do something with the parentheses in order to get that because when I evaluate this the right way, I do the division first and I get 28 divided by 7, which is 4. And then I have 5 plus 4, which is 9. And 9 minus 4 is 5. So I actually get 5 and that's definitely not 11. So if I'm going to put parentheses, I think the best thing to do is actually in this case to do two different parentheses. 5 plus 28 is 33 divided by, and I have 7 minus 4, which is 3, and 33 divided by 3 is 11. So then I get the answer that I needed there. So I should put parentheses around both my addition and my subtraction number um, and having the divider in between. Okay, so now we're going to actually evaluate the numerical expressions. Okay, so we have 10 plus 36 divided by 9. Following the rules, I have to do the division first. So 36 divided by 9 is 4. And then I'm going to add my 10. So I, got, I have 10 plus 4, which is 14. Okay, the next question, 10 plus parentheses 25 minus 10 divided parentheses divided by 5. So everything I do first I have to do within the parentheses. So I have 25 minus 10, which is 15. I'm going to bring down my 10 plus and my divided by 5. Next, I have to do the division. So I have 15 divided by 5, which is 3. So now I'm left with 10 plus 3, which is 13. Okay, next I have 9 minus parentheses 3 times 2 parentheses plus 8. So again, I have to do the parentheses first. 3 times 2 is 6. I'm going to bring down my 9 minus and my plus 8. And now I just have addition and subtraction, so I'm going to go again from left to right as if I'm reading a book. 9 minus 6 is 3, and 3 plus 8 is 11. <coughs> on your own, I'm going to do the first four with you, and then I want you to do the rest of them on your own. You can work with a partner. Um, once you reach the end of the page on 17, make sure that you do check it with a partner to make sure that you have the right answer. And then you can go on to the second video that will help you with your homework. Um, okay, so let's do these together. So again, I have to do parentheses first. So I have 49 plus, or 4 plus 49, and that's in the parentheses. I've got to do that first. Um, and I'm going to get 53 minus the um, 4 times 10. But again, so I'm going to do 4 times 10 first, which is 40. So now I have 53 minus 40, and I'm going to get 13 when I do that. 
Okay, the next one is 5 plus 17 minus 100 divided by 5. So I've got no parentheses, um, but I do have a division, so I'm going to do the division first. Um, 100 divided by 5 is 20. And then I'm going to minus, I'm just going to bring my 17 plus 5. So now I have just addition and subtraction, so I'm going to go, again, I'm going to go from left to right when I do this. 5 plus 7 is 22, minus 20 is 2. Next one, I do have a parenthesis, so I'm going to do it first. 8 plus 5 is 13, bring my minus and my 36. Now I have 36 minus 13, and I'm going to get 23. Okay, the next one is 125 minus 68 plus four, 7. Again, I have to do my um, parentheses first. So 68 plus 7 is 75. I'm going to do my minus, and I have 125. And 125 minus 75 is 50. Okay, so again, please do the rest of the problems with a partner um, or on your own. Up to you, but make sure that you check with a partner before you move on to your homework. I will be on the floor if you need my assistance. Thank you and have a great day.